Dead meme. So farming in this game is relatively simple. There are two major components that you need. You, you're going to need one of these grow plots, and you're going to need a grow light. And a grow light, if you put it in the middle, it can impact up to nine squares. So the one in the middle and all the adjacent. So for example, these nine squares, he is good enough. These nine squares, he is good enough to feed all of these. There are also several types of plants, but we're going to come back to that in a moment. All right, so where do you get these grow plots? Where do you get these grow lights? You could use the small constructor, which you'll need a base for. And of course, if we throw grow in here and we just go to building blocks, we'll see that grow plot is available to us. And if we keep going, we should find the grow light. So with the small constructor, you're going to need to build um, some iron. You're going to get, need to get some iron ore and a few other things, some crushed stone in order to accomplish these. But the one that is more confusing is the nutrient soil or the these nutrient solution. Sorry. The best way to get nutrient solution is you could use the food processor. And let's locate it. Here we go. Nutrient solution, stone dust, purified water, and some spoiled food. By using the food processor, you're able to create the nutrient solution. You'll put it in a box where your constructor can access it. It will allow you to make grow plots. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure you could figure out the other components if you're far enough in the game to be concerned with, with farming. I think you understand the construction system in the game enough. So we're going to move on to where water comes from. Water comes from these water generators. Basically, I've done a video about mining. Uh, these systems work very similar to the auto miner. You'll put fuel in the top and the, you'll get an output of items. And just keep in mind that water has an enormous volume on it. I'd bring a small ship with you to carry it back to your base because things despawn if you let them sit in the world. So this is my grow plot on my capital ship. We don't really grow stuff here because the ship's not on very frequently and we need the consistency of the lights in the fridge to make a farm conducive. We're gonna cover that next, but right now I just need to show you, notice how like there's like an ultraviolet kind of light here. This lets us know that those nine plots are actually covered. So I'll put this one back. And as you can see, there's nothing, it's not ultraviolet. That's a good ex a good indication that it's not ready to go. So I'll put the grow light back up there. And there you go. So when you see this, your farm plots are getting the sunlight they need or the ultraviolet light they need in order to grow. So I'm going to go back to our farm and I'm going to show you the mechanics of growing things. We have a lot of different kinds of plants to choose from. And basically how you're going to decide what ones you want to grow is I'd recommend going over to your food processor and just kind of look at what these things require to make, right? So this one, say it needs mushrooms, vegetables, salami, and cheese. So let's look at salami. Salami can be made with meat and spice. And meat can be made from plant protein and vegetables. So you can kind of, uh, you can go vegan for all those uh, interesting individuals out there. But what I think you're going to be most concerned with is emergency rations. They're expensive to make, but they never go bad. There's no perish time. They restore a fair bit of health in a lot of food and even get a bit of stamina back as in comparison to say, like this hamburger gives back a lot of food and it's relatively cheap to make, but it does actually go bad. So if your refrigerators lose power, the components in here will go bad much quicker. <laughs> and that really sucks. The processor does work similar to a constructor. You need to give it an in and an out. But while we're looking at this processor, there are other things to consider. There's more than just food we need to be worried about. There's medication. Uh, there's a lot of components that require different kinds of plants from food in order to make these medications. This is very important stuff. Um, one of my major gripes of the game is how lethal animals are because of the bad status elements they give. So I strongly recommend figure out what confetti moss looks like in the world. Pick a lot of it, put it in your refrigerator so that you can make these various components like the alien plasma. You can actually make that with eggs, alien parts, and a bunch of other things. 
we won't get too deep into that because we're going off topic. But in order to grow anything, you need more than a grow plot and a light. You need seeds. This button up here will let you uh, grow various seeds. Basically, you'll convert various um, vegetables or things you've collected. So like this guy, this blue pepper sprout. If I want to, I could put four vegetables, some purified water, a nutrient solution, and I can get a sprout. So let us grab as so I've got some put aside. And see, these guys are an adult version. Let's turn on the light. They're an adult version, and they're ready for harvest. So this is what they look like when they're little. You put them in, and you'll get a little indicator that it's a sprout. It's not ready to be harvested. So let's harvest our plants. And you don't need to do anything. Uh, this is the coolest part. They just grow back. You know, you don't have to uh, replant. Like, say, a game like Minecraft. You know, not... Not to uh, be rude or mean, it's just replanting really sucks. All right, so I know what you're thinking. Uh, I need to know how to grow plants. If I had plants, I wouldn't be here learning how to farm. So this is the solution you're probably going to need. If you're lucky enough, you'll find a settlement out within the world that you can go to and you'll be able to trade with an NPC uh, I find they're relatively common. The vast majority of settlements that I've gone to, I have been able to locate the NPC that we're looking for. So I'm going to clip to that. See you soon. All right. Aunt Mary's farming and gardening supplies. So this NPC, if we get up to him, hit F, we could buy a bunch of sprouts off this guy. Now, there's another problem here. You'll notice he's looking for money. Uh, we haven't really covered where money comes from, but... As you can see, I'm carrying an extra concrete grow plot, and since he's a farming NPC, he'll buy that. There we go, I've got some cash. Other options or other NPCs that buy things? No, I don't want to steal. So this guy is buying uh, console decals. This is a decoration item that you can create in your constructor. It's very cheap, and he's buying them for 930 a piece. So you show up here with like 20 of them, you could buy more than enough seeds to accomplish whatever it is you're attempting to do. All right, our farm is an independent building. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why this is done. Uh, CPU power, generator power, sometimes you just don't have enough consistent fuel in order to run something. Like for an example, let's get out of the ship. And this guy over here, this ugly block is a deconstructor and a furnace. So this is a power hog and it's very energy intensive. It will likely drain the batteries. So what we've done is we've created a solar farm that supplies only the farmland. Because again, if this structure loses power when you're offline or even if you're playing, these things won't grow anymore. And the food in your refrigerators will start to go bad, including some of the medical components, such as the plasma, I believe it is. Well, ne nevertheless, your components start going bad. That's no good. Like rotting food, you can't use in the processor beyond to make uh, the nutrient solution. So let's talk about these plants. How do you choose which plant to grow? So if we look at them, this one's yielding eight. This one's yielding 12. This one's yielding 8. This one's yielding 5. But they're all yielding different amounts. So let's get a little bit closer to this one. 4 vegetables versus 8 vegetables. So you naturally think, oh, this is the better plant. Let's plant pumpkins. But at the same time, these ones grow a little bit quicker. These are the tomatoes. So it's not as straightforward. But for me, uh, we only planted these for the sake of demonstration. I go with pumpkins. And of course, a large variety of plants, like your herbal leaves for medicine, these for bandages and spices, stimulants and sweeteners, to make all of your different kinds of foods. And one simple tip to make harvesting your farm a little bit simpler, this is my input fridge for the food processor. If I just connect my inventory to it, I can run through and I could pick all these things 
and they instantly populate into this refrigerator. I don't need to chase it down or anything to that effect. And you could just click this button again to unlink it. And of course, this is our target item. So let her rip. The, this guy can take quite some time. It does go through a fair bit of water. So having a supply on hand is probably a good idea. And of course, having an additional food processor because all that stuff takes forever. You can have a free one to make all of your different medications and maybe even some seeds. So to quickly conclude, uh, you can basically grow a seed almost anywhere as long as the environment isn't hazardous. So typically indoors, put a grow light down, nine squares are affected. You're going to need to get some seeds. You can make them in a food processor. You could find them in a POI or you could buy them from a settlement. And basically that's all there is to it. And make sure you refrigerate your food so that it doesn't go bad on you. So, uh, thanks for showing up. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if so, if you could give me a, a like or subscribe, or if you want to give me some constructive criticism, say, uh, you know, this was helpful, this was bad, or you're not doing this right, or I've missed something, just let me know. That way I can make it better next time. But thanks for showing up.